Be happy, little nutball. See? Look. Ricky dance. No. Well. You suck. Hey everyone, welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles. In the last episode, we arrived here in the Imperial Capital uh, as Melia, and we saw a familiar face in Alvis, so much so that he busted us out because he knows a thing or two about the Monado. In this episode though, we got a distress call, seeing how we went from prisoners to heroes, so we got to do what heroes do, and do heroic stuff. Instead, let's talk to the Nubbon. Papa got blinded! Huh? Oh. Why do you feel nice? That's Kimber. Oh, let that. He only came from behind, so it's fine. Whoopee! If Bobo get blinded, Bobo cannot go outside anymore! Why? What's the deal? It's not all like there's a knob on beside you. Yes! Recently, Papa's son not want to go outside. I asked why, but he no answer. He just shiver and shake. What is happening? Huh? He does go out, but every day he finds a new tricky place to hide. I wanted him to have fun outside, not stay in a dark place. You all nice people. You all smiley smiles. But how about my little pawn Baroba? I not know what's wrong with him. I want you to ask Baroba. Sha Sha's a robot. So, you are hiding. Not much of a hiding place. Whoopee! Reason why Baroba not go out? Simple. When walk outside and end up getting quick crap car on the lip Baroba up. Baroba not like when it happened. Baroba smell bad. Maybe that's a problem. My friends bring a smelly thing. Need to get eat e roses. And we don't have enough. Trade, but of course you can probably tell. Not good. He has armor, by the way. Really good armor too. Yeah. So if you want to, it's very worth your time to to gather by what you can. Luckily, luckily there are collectibles in this very area in which you can trade for. So you know what? Sin Sin's got jobs to do. Let's go. It's very worth your time. So, 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 it's worth an overtrade, but you know what? It's not actually beneficial. But if we say go do the change equipment, let's just see how good this actually is. So, Death Roll Armor, make sure, make sure uh, look like a bird woman, but look at that increase! Yeah. That is pretty good. Same thing for Ricky, same thing for Shulk. So, you know what? Let's introduce Shulk to the culture. Let's get him for armor. The only downside is is that is that is that there's no slots for gems. But hey, for a box standard armor and for collectibles which you could find right in the doorstep, it's very worth your time just for a nice first step. I changed my mind briefly, went back and got shallow one because let's face it. She's gonna need some if, if, if going to be fighting things. But now let's get to where we're. I get to where we want to go. Me you remember the uh, the other pla platform we went? I went to just uh, just for arriving at, at the capital. That's where you meant to go. And luckily, this is going at the low at loading times. It's also gonna make things a lot easier. It's also worth your time to have Charlotte on the lead because you are gonna do a lot of coverage, a lot of a lot of nebula fights, a lot of fly, flying enemy fights, and I'm just gonna say it now: prepare for a bit of a mauling and prepare for a lot of healing. So it's good to have that on duty. Yeah, because Melly's not gonna be around to cover you for ether. Nope, and you're only. Other alternative for Eva is either, is either Ricky, who's more of a, a deep buff expert, or Ryan with more aura burst. Yeah, if you can tell, our Eva options aren't the best by any stretch of imagination. And for those who are new to Xenoblade or the Definitive Edition in general, you do have the option of turning on the guided travel path in the map settings. 
Indeed. So, in case you are actually struggling, let's just say, go to options menus. Go to... Travel guidance. There it is. Display. Save, save it there. And, show, and it shows you a, an exact location in which you need to go. Thankfully though, we know where we're going and... I guess now we're fighting! And let's go over a few a few enemies before we have a chance. Yaluka, not much different to White Face in Magna Forest. The Hodes, of course, same thing for Magna. Nebulas, same thing except with uh, spike damage and a bit more a bit more a bulk to uh, to them. And there is one more enemy type, and we'll and we'll get to that re really quickly. But for now, let's work on the exterminations. <laughs> I love that. I love that clip. I'm so glad it's on the game. It's like, oh, good boy! <laughs> Ricky not condescending. What the freaking ever? <laughs> what? That's the second time. My god. That's the second time that I noticed that she says dose of healing for Metal Blast. Dose of healing is. Is she like got the wrong bullets? I think I've got one one bullet, but actually I've got different ones. Hopefully Shulk's not going to be on the wrong end of that mistake. Ricky, it's not even night time yet. As always, though, we want to get the stuff because look at that. If, if you thought it was just the torso armor that looked good, boy, you got no idea. And one final bit of enemy type. Look familiar? This was back in Colony 9, and I was actually alluded to before F1 the Mechon attacked. So, somehow, um, somehow a high enter ship managed to get down all the way, all the way to Colony 9. Which go as goes back as what Dunban was talking about in front in Frontier Village, how High Enter were were everywhere a long time ago. In a nutshell, though, what this guy does is he 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 can actually focus on different aspects. He can either switch to attack mode or defense mode, or he could explode off screen and we get a vision which looks good. As a vision talk talked about, this is one of the enemies in which you want to get the common drops for, and not the rares. A nice bit of the intel for you. But this way, gonna go in the map, and we're gonna keep it on there just just for a visual aid for those who don't know where where they're going. Yeah, it's a lot of help because even now I still have trouble navigating air the sea. RFC is a maze, and it can be very, it can be very, 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 very unpleasant. And souls, like the Mac the Forest, not much difference except just higher levels, bigger bulk, and just still, still as big of a threat as always ours. Yeah, get used to Ansels, because you're gonna see them in a lot of places you visit. Eh. Uh -huh. I would rather really get to level up, and you know what? Now she's even. No cause. Shoot it down. Yeah, with all these flying monsters around, Charlotte's gonna be your best friend in this. Now, now before we get interrupted, you, you, you wanna clock this in for uh, for many reasons, because. We get NPCs with, with generic quests that Shulk loves to jump into. Awesome. This is another, another, another element of of quests, and they're separate to actual outcome off, but they add to the same re re a region. Unfortunately, you're not nop on as you don't have funny dialogue. 
Poor shame. Poor shame. That's a flattering shot there. Of 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 the ring possibly skewering the audience. I want all dragon spines. Please kill all 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 dragons. Thank you. There isn't much up top here apart from the quests, but it does it does, it does give you a very a very nice view. Including one of our deaths, one of our destination, and this is a good and then and this is a good time and place to say, hey, you see the island over there? Yep, yeah, you can go there. You can go down to Erev Sea, the very bottom, if you wish. Take a while to get back up, though. Yeah. But if you've got everything handled. You can talk to with the guard and see what he needs. Yes. The worker finally came to fix the transporter, but he went to get some ether crystals. Never came back. You can get to the crystal deposit from, uh, from behind the lighthouse. If you could go and say, take a look for me. Yes, the first shiny thing. <laughs> it's another white tail. They both are really fluffy. Look, you want to use them as pillows? We take them back and sleep. Ricky, that sounds like a great idea. I'd love to sleep, pref but I wouldn't want to know what those white tails were from. Oh, it's okay. They bunny tails. <laughs> Ricky, Ricky, just whip, rip them off. Now, despite what the arrow is saying, from the left or right side, the lighthouse is all good. But every sea is expansive, and one aspect of it we haven't really, really talked about. If we go and look at the map on the top screen, unfortunately, it doesn't it doesn't cover the map completion from uh, in between. But but it is a good area to see how much of the map you have. Just take a look at all this. Everything is big. Huh. It's almost like it's almost like you know an ocean is a big thing. Who'd have thought? And it is a good idea to uh, to be aware of your surroundings, because you never know when when a surprise might just drop in. Who knows? It might even be you one of these days. But that's a surprise for another for another time. But now. Ah, <sighs> one go. Five minutes of being interrupted. Be a second. Wasn't what I was planning to do, but I'll take the free, I'll take the free cash. And the slimy, the slimy epithelium. Something that I'm not going to pronounce. The only thing I'm going to say is, bless you, honey. If you thought we were done, no way. We're all from the six from one. But now, incoming a new not not just enemy, but new enemy archetype, Chromars. They are pretty much, to put it simply, improved versions of Ignas. And just like Ignas, they vary. You can have some focus on offense, defense, ether, shielding, and even all-rounders. So, be on guard. They do pack quite, quite a punch. And same thing like Ignas, they're all ad, 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 also kindred. So, if you attack one, nearby enemies are going to try and, fl and flank towards you. However, there is actually a benefit from uh, taking on uh, taking on these chromars, especially in pairs, because for early on they actually have some of uh, the best gear. Now we did see one with uh, the the tray we did leaving Alchemov. Their monster drops, however, they have they have gem a gem slot in which you can carry 
I capitalize on. It also is a good idea that you get the generic side quest before you leave um, out outcome off because you can get experience, you can get the enemy drops, and you can complete the side quest in a nutshell. Now, just a, a just a heads up: the penalties are are the all round all, all round the chromars I was talking about because it's a play on a paladin, basically a knight, and the flutus. Well. He isn't holding flutes, he's just holding ether. So, whatever joke that is, I I don't know. Uh, what these chromos do, uh, do mostly focus on more is, gang is ganging all up on you, and that right there, they can daze you in it's not much effort. Wouldn't shock me if they're using shield bash. Yep. Since this game uh, cannot stop but being amazing and friendly, and friendly to new players, this is actually a crass course for what you're going to put up with. Various enemies, are various combos, and various abilities, and they're putting them against you one at a time. As you probably saw before the first one died, he was able to put a put hasty on himself with an increase his attacking ability. The other one just comboed and hit us hard. Remember I said there was a crash course? Take a look at that. Defensive Chromar. I don't think I need to say anything on that one. But in a nutshell, these, there's a quest exclusive enemies. And they do have, well, the same abilities. And they're kindred. So, are you ready for a fight? Go, go for it. I, I go for it. If you have days or top or top resists, that include that. But for now, let's get this done and dusted. Achievement for simply smashing. Basically, for the change uh, the future. Sorry about the random cut there. I thought I had a setup for it, but uh, in actuality, I was thinking of a different fight. But, however, it is very worth your time because Ricky yoinked a weapon out of that guy. <laughs> One of the few times which a unique weapon is, is available, but I didn't, didn't quite, I, I didn't quite, I didn't quite get it. However, since they are quests, unique, unique, unique enemies, they, uh, they always give silver chests and you want to get their crystals because it definitely helps. It is a first in is the first interaction of what's called art steel. We, uh, I'll let you hazard a guess in which if in what it is. Before you before you talk to the NPC though, make sure you get these because the cutscene will start and you will not uh, and you will not uh, not be able to get this. But for all said and done, talk to him. Ah, worker, what a name. Are you that? Thanks, I thought it was a gun in there. Things could have turned out really nice if you hadn't come. I'm off to fix transport now. See you around. And that is the extent of my discussions with the Homs that accompanied Melia here. I still cannot believe it. How could a Telethia have grown to such power? And what is your conclusion, Seer? That the Telethia were able to gain such power due to the high levels of ether in the region. In other words, our ether protection is weakening. And so it begins. The resurrection of the Bionis. What of the Monado? I cannot see. My sight is hindered. However, Speak, Seer. 
It is not certain that the Monado will bring about our destruction. While my sight is hindered, I have seen a sliver of light. Is your majesty not aware of this light as well? Are you referring to Melia? And the young man, Shulk. Could it be that the boy is trustworthy after all? Kalyan, we are on the cusp of a significant moment. The investiture ceremony must take place as soon as possible. Your majesty, since the ministries are already in agreement, we may be able to bypass some of the formalities. Indeed. But she must still earn the blessing of the people. Might I suggest the trial of the tomb? First consort, such a ritual has not been conducted for generations. We have simply not had a need for it until now. And I feel she is more than equal to the challenge. Mother, the tomb is dangerous. Our records show that many potential successors lost their lives performing the ritual. That child fought and beat the Telethia. It is my belief that she is more than strong enough. Besides, if it was revealed that she avoided such a responsibility, her reputation among the people would be irreparably damaged. I must protest. Uh, the First Consort is right. There is much risk. But the rewards are greater. It would seal the people's love for her. Summon Melia. Her thoughts must be heard. I accept. If I am to lead the High Entia despite my mixed heritage, if I am to succeed the throne, then I accept what must be done. I expect nothing less of my successor. The path to greatness is fraught with danger. This shall be your statement to Bionis. Yes, Your Majesty. You are not fit to be Empress. Not now, not ever. Hmm. Oh, looks like we got them out of a scrape. Shulk, Ricky tired. <sighs> Ricky sleeping castle now. Good idea. Let's head back to the capital. The sooner the better. The fact that that was hell in a handbasket, and now the fact that there's a thunderstorm in RFC. I don't like our chances. But I guess, with that said though guys, I guess we'll end things there. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully this has been okay to watch, if I sincerely apologize if... Well, never mind, I could just accidentally end the record... The recording halfway through, apologize, I apologize for the abrupt cut there. Anyway though guys, we'll end things there. Again, we hope it's been alright to watch, if so, please, please let us know. But, if you like the video, be sure to like it, if you just like it, well then, you can go down to the ocean like that, like that he, he was doing. Very nice touch. But if you want to subscribe to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe and we'll see you guys next time. Where hopefully, we will be able to sleep in castle now. It sounds like a, a, a good plan. Get out of this rain. Yeah. As well as watching guys, we'll see you next time.